The clock is ticking on federal tax credits for home buyers. It runs out at the end of the month, which is the day after tomorrow. In tonight's Project Economy, KITV Force Catherine Cruz gives us a snapshot of the activity in the market. And Catherine, I'm guessing we're seeing a lot of stuff out there. That's right. You know, first-time buyers get up to eight thousand dollars, sixty-five hundred for repeat buyers, and the tax credits may have nudged people over the fence. But in one East Honolulu neighborhood, where inventory is tight, it's been hard for buyers. Prospective home buyer Robert Martin is doing his homework. He wants to see if the neighborhood of a townhome he's eyeing is as quiet as he'd like. He wants very much to seal a deal by Friday. In the last 10 days, I've seen 20 places. So, yeah, I think I haven't been looking for a long time. I've been looking for a couple of weeks. But, yeah, I've been looking and, again, just haven't found things that I like. And the things I do like are already sold. Well, this is it. Martin's realtor, Dan Madden, says it's in part due to the low inventory. The inventory in Hawaii Kai right now is about half of what it was a year ago. And it's uh, the lowest I've seen in many years. Madden says that the low interest rates and the tax incentives have helped to spike activity in the last six months. But lately, it's been a little rough for buyers. What we're seeing is uh, multiple offers on properties. I made an offer last week for a buyer, and there were six offers in on the property and uh, over asking price. It'll, it'll fit if I, if I back it all the way in. Tonight, Robert Martin is double-checking the size of the garage. His priority is making sure his car will fit. He hopes he'll have a chance to make an offer and not as a backup. The backup to the backup to the backup. That's right. And I've been in that position already. I'm, I've got three contracts in on properties that I'm backups on, but that's a big if, so you have to keep looking and hoping for something else. He checks out the neighborhood noise from inside. What he hears or doesn't hear may make or break this deal. And as we left tonight, Madden and Martin were talking about putting in an offer. Martin would be eligible for a $6,500 credit if the deal is made by Friday. Closing would have to happen by the end of June. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.